and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader. I've got a message for Aquarius today, and this is a special Halloween message, so I'm using an extra deck to give us a theme card. To let you know how this works, I have asked my guides and spirit to bring a message through the cards that will be deeply relevant and meaningful for you this week as you navigate your journey. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here and I strongly invite you to subscribe so that you can stay in contact with this beneficial information every week and be assured that you're being helped and supported as you move forward on your journey. And if you're returning, thanks so much for being here and thank you for the honor of sharing your journey with you. I really do love doing these readings and let's get straight into it. So Aquarius, you're a little bit on your guard this week. Our theme card, Two of Wands, the Cetus energy. So Cetus is a sea monster, but he reminds me of those Chinese dragons. You know, I think it's for maybe Chinese New Year or something else that they have those dragons on poles. But anyway, it's kind of like you're looking into the future and you're looking, you're anticipating that there's going to be some kind of adversary or some kind of thing you're going to have to overcome. And so you're, you're feeling very like on your guard and very confident. On the good side, this gives you a lot of energy, a lot of vitality, but I also just want to say, coupled with the rest of the cards, let's take the other side meaning of this card, which would be just kind of like, relax your guard. It's not so bad. It's not, it's not the horrible thing you think it's going to be. So let's get started. The universe is presenting you with the full energy. So this is an invitation to leap off of a new path, go through a new way, and to, um, hmm, it's almost to be a little bit impulsive, a little bit reckless, not in a, in a way that you might harm yourself, but in a trusting way. Like the universe is just saying, I'm sending you in a new direction. Let's trust it. Okay. You, you're not going to understand all of it. That's probably why you're feeling a bit edgy, but the universe is kind of like, I've got you. Let's go in a new way. Now you're responding with the strength card. So that's a couple meanings for me. First of all, you're either digging in your heels being like, I'm not moving. I don't want to try this new thing. I don't know what it is. It's scary. I don't want to go that direction. Or you're thinking it's another test again, like you're on guard and you're thinking like, Oh God, here comes the next trial. Here comes the next wave. I don't think I can take this. So, Again, we're getting this theme of kind of tension that just needs to be dropped or needs to be allowed and then released. So let's look at the rest of your cards because they're really quite good. I mean, really, we've got the tower into the sun and then into the six of cups. So a perfect lighten up moment. So yes, the tower did happen. You had something come down that was quite, quite shocking and quite, quite big or Perhaps just like, yeah, something big fell apart for you. And again, that's why you're wanting to be on your guard. But these cards are clearly saying, but hey, that was a good thing. The sun shone, you're still standing here. In fact, this was a really good thing that this, whatever it is, the structure came down for you because you're emerging so much stronger with more vitality. Remember I said the sun? We've got the glyph for the sun on this card. So you've got the sun here. You've got your energy back. You've got your, your mojo back because this, this came down. And then the six of cups comes to soften this a bit. And the six of cups, so it's a little girl having tea party in the, in the forest with the fairies. And there's all sorts of fish just kind of floating up through the air. And she's got these like fairy lanterns going on. It's a very soft card. And it's just trying to get you to lighten up and to remember like when you were a child, how things were just more innocent and lighter and not so serious and heavy. And so in light of all these things, you know, being asked to go uncomfortable directions where you don't want to go and being asked to try things that are outside your comfort zone and feeling like you're on guard against something bad that's going to happen or just like looking out for those future trials, we've lost sight of the joy. We've lost sight of the light. And when we see these two cards together, it's joy. That's what we're trying to find. And they don't want you to be overpowered with it. You know, this is a huge sun energy, but you can see a little bit of that light 
reflected in those fairy lanterns. So it's taking delight in the small things right now because in the wake of this big tower coming down and this sea monster energy that you've got going on here, in the wake of that, your world is feeling a bit shaken. But these two cards are saying, lighten up. This is a good thing. This is going to work out well for you in the end. But in the meantime, take delight in the little things. Enjoy the small things and just literally lighten up enlighten yourself lighten up so it may seem counterintuitive but taking that time to lighten up is actually going to put you more in touch with your power than you think so this it's really counterintuitive trying to be like this the future sea monster battler <laughs> means that you feel like you have to kind of gird your loins and stand up and just kind of hold yourself in readiness. And this is saying if you allow yourself to relax and kind of joke around and just be happier and lighter, you get that release from your solar plexus. Like laughing comes from your gut. So this is like having belly laughs this week and just finding something to laugh about, forcing yourself to laugh. Yeah, that's really good. Force yourself to laugh. <laughs> But just allowing that to loosen up is going to release a lot of this held energy and then the energy can flow much more easily in and through that solar plexus. So you're going to feel your empowerment, your enlightened empowerment return to you. But the way to get there is not through doing more sit-ups, not through you know trying to be a warrior and trying to be like, oh, I got to get this. It's through lightening up and finding the joy and the lightness and the laughter again. So that's kind of a short and simple, sweet little reading. If you've got some questions about it, please let me know in the comments. And I always love to hear from you, as you know. And um, I also wanted to just let you know that I am available for one-on-one -on -one readings. If you've been needing some personal guidance, I offer them through Zoom. And you can find out more at trueguidancetarot.com or my email is in the description below. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much for joining me. I really enjoyed doing these readings and I would love to see you next time. Have a good one.